been a while since Wanted shot up theaters. Whether or not fate actually had anything to do with it, the trigger has been pulled on a game that uses the movie license and pulls from the comic book source material. Does Weapons of Fate earn its license to kill? <laughs> it is in the sacred fraternity catacomb. Shame that I only really got to see Cross's eyes in death. The film starred a regular guy named Wesley, who finds out he's descended from a supernaturally talented assassin bloodline. The game picks up hours after the film ends, with Wesley taking on the French chapter of the International Fraternity of Super Assassins and their leader, the Immortal, in order to learn the secrets behind his family history. The game also presents Wesley's father, Cross, as a playable character in flashback sequences that alternate with the present action. I have to know why my father put me through this. I didn't just tell me the truth when he had the chance. Despite a good sense of progression, the plot is stretched thin at times and will likely feel incomplete for players who haven't been exposed to Wanted in its film or comic book forms. But I do know what I am. I'm an asshole with a gun in a cool suit. Weapons of Fate is a pure action shooter. It's built on a handful of pretty solid mechanics focused on using cover and precision shooting to move through a gauntlet of enemies in a series of linear levels. The game's responsive cover system lets you quickly move from one spot to another, with visual indicators letting you know where you'll end up when you make the jump. From there, you'll have a few options for quickly and stylishly dispatching threats. Killing enemies normally or in context-sensitive close combat gives you adrenaline which is measured in red bullets in the top right corner of the screen. This gives you the juice you need to perform wanted signature bullet curving technique. Trading in two bullets will trigger a slow motion effect to dispense high volumes of lead into hapless enemies or tough boss characters. Slow motion also comes into play in first person on rail shooting sequences that require you to clip bullets out of the air and eliminate attackers in short bursts of bullet time. Rounding out the bag of tricks, the game also puts you behind a powerful gun turret, giving you offensive power and a good place to cower. With no multiplayer component and the normal game clocking in at under five hours, we wanted a few more features in Weapons of Fate. Fuck me. You can select any act you've cleared to replay your favorite sections, and there are unlockable character skins, but they don't change the way you play the game. Secret codes unlock two new game types. Close combat mode and headshot mode require you to kill almost all your enemies in specific ways. They can be fun, but you have to start over from the beginning of the game no matter how much you've completed in the single player. The game does offer three different difficulty levels, so if you're feeling fragile, go ahead and select the pussy difficulty level. That's what it's called. We're not kidding. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to kill this pussy bitch from back here. <laughs> Regardless of how your skills as an assassin work, you have the same job ahead of you. The game is all about taking cover, so it's a good thing that the game handles it so well. Without straying too far from the button prompting precedent set by games like Gears of War, Wanted moves at an extremely fast clip by letting you move diagonally between or up and over obstacles, letting Wesley cover large distances with a single button press. Playing off the cover system is what the game calls a flanking maneuver, letting you suppress enemies with blind fire and sneak around to catch them off guard. It's a cool idea, but making it an obvious mechanic by tinting the screen white feels a bit odd. You can find places to use it if you look hard enough, but the much easier and more enjoyable bullet curving makes blind fire and flanking feel largely unnecessary. Actually putting spit on your bullets is as easy as holding a trigger to lock on and setting your trajectory with the analog stick. You can pull this off fairly quickly so it doesn't slow down the game. It's great for taking out guys behind cover and leads to cool looking kills. If you want to constantly curve bullets though, you'll need to manage your adrenaline. This is particularly important when fighting major enemies, although you're guaranteed a steady supply of hand cannon fodder to feed your adrenaline meter for bosses. Close up kills give you more adrenaline, and if you kill an enemy with a trick shot, you'll instantly recharge the adrenaline you just spent. The action is tight and fast when you're playing well, and the overall gameplay flow serves as Wanted's top bullet point. How about you hold this? Wanted is not a bad looking game, but it's immediately obvious that it isn't top shelf either. This is not to say that you'll never be impressed. 
The level that takes place on a doomed airplane feels dangerous and riveting, but close scrutiny of the character models and cutscenes don't provide desirable results. A few oddities occur during gameplay. While your crosshairs normally turn red when you hit an enemy, if your curved bullet path is red, it's a guaranteed miss. Still, the satisfying bullet cam makes up for minor weirdness. Other elements are more subjective. The dialogue definitely conveys attitude, but whether you enjoy Wesley's snarky delivery and screw-you personality will depend on taste. I gotta tell you, I wouldn't have minded making her scream another way, but what the heck. In terms of the story at large, there seem to be just enough cinema scenes to hold things together. Oh, son of a bitch. Fuck, I have to go. I've seen enough of Chicago, Wesley. Wanted Weapons of Fate strikes one more blow against the curse of the bad licensed game. But despite unique elements and enjoyable gameplay, it doesn't quite have the polish and longevity to compete with other big name shooters on the market. If you have an affinity for the source material and don't mind replaying content as long as it's fun, the game might be worth adding to your library. If not, you may at least want to check it out to see how it feels to bend a bullet. I gotta give you credit, man. I would have screamed like a bitch if that had been me. Thank <laughs> you.